Hi everyone and welcome to my What Are You In A Day? My last day in Manchester with Charlie, Leah and Corey. Me and Charlie started off with a Costa. Then we headed to TGI Fridays. One near me is closed so I was so buzzing to be able to get one. I went for the Smash Deluxe Burger and Corey got these lovely cheese donuts. Cheese donuts, Becky? Cheese? Never in my life would have I ever expected somebody to make donuts more unhealthy. I mean, we're literally talking about doughs, balls of dough that have been deep fried. And you're talking about some cheese as well? Why'd you bother going to TGI Friday, bro? Out of all the places you could have gone to, man, Becky has done irreversible damage to her body over the last few years. And it seems like she doesn't care about herself to like a really high degree. I'm happy that she has friends finally. I'm happy that she can actually hang out with people. It seems like she was very, very depressed for a really long time, or at least it was that depression that a lot of people don't know about, or like it's a very ambiguous depression. What do they call it? Like clinical de depression or something like that. I think Becky probably had some of that because she had no communication with anybody besides the people in her family, which sucks a lot of dick. Not to say that people in your family aren't great, amazing, beautiful, awesome, spectacular people. They are. Your family is great, by the way. Your family is really, really amazing. But for somebody like Becky, um, it's really great to have friends. It really is. It just sucks a lot of dick that the only people that are friends with her are literally the people that are doing the exact same things as her, which are basically like going to be a crackhead and then like getting friends that are also crackheads, but you don't realize that the crack is bad for you. Or like those people that do the the NOS or like the whippets or whatever, um, where it literally kills your brain cells. It's like that. Like all your friends are just smoking whippets all day and you and your friends are progressively getting more and more brain damage as the days progress in the same way that Becky and all these other people are getting more and more obese which is also making them well it's probably not as bad as like losing brain cells but either either way not good and becky has set herself up for failure i also think it's really crazy to go to tgi friday and get all these foods can i go over these foods real quick hold on me and charlie started off with a costa to start off is crazy so macaroni and cheese these are starters by the way i want everybody to know this this, this is not the meal this is the starters these are the appetizers that people get i don't get appetizers personally whenever i go out to eat to restaurants and stuff like that because i don't personally fuck with appetizers people love to spend like a good 15 extra dollars on appetizers i'm good I'm good. Let me get my $12 burger and my $8 fries, and I'm good, dude. That's all I need. Uh, you know, I'll get the water because it's free, but also because I'm a hydrated individual. For Becky, though, she's got to get the, the appetizer. So macaroni and cheese, which is a lot of macaroni and cheese. They even serve them as cast iron skillets for some reason. I guess cheesy breadsticks. Then we had to TGI sticks, Friday. And cheesy donuts, which I don't necessarily think it would taste very good. Because the entire point of a donut is to be sweet. But if you're adding cheese in it, by the way, Becky doesn't like cheese. She tells us over and over and over again, I don't like cheese. I hate cheese. I think cheese is so gross. Cheesy donuts. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know why Becky always does that shit. Where she goes, I don't like cheese. And then I see her consistently always eating cheese. Always. Cheesy donuts are like the, the, the most far off brand of cheese you can get. It's not even supposed to be in cheese. Like donuts are not supposed to have cheese in it at all. And yet you still have cheese in it. It's like having cereal with cheese. Why? It's like it's pouring out a whole bunch of tricks and then just getting a couple mozzarellas and just going like this on top of it and just eating it. Why are you adding cheese to stuff that doesn't need to have cheese in it? Who even designed, who, who thought, first of all, to get donuts and inject them with cheese? Why? One near me is closed, so I was so disrespectful disrespectful and you know what they always do this so i'm gonna keep it a bucket you guys they've managed to make the burgers less wide but more tall and I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna break this down for you right now it's better to be wider because at least you're getting more meat or at least it looks like you're getting more meat it might be a thicker slice of beef but they usually pack it they usually give you more of the the less expensive stuff so pickles cheap as fuck onions cheap as fuck and all the other toppings cheap as fuck and then by the way the fries as well just because they come in this little like cool triangle i guess shelf thing that you, they, they put it in doesn't necessarily mean that it's cool you're getting a lot of it these are probably you know french fries dude are very easy to create they're very cheap to make a lot of people think that french fries are like exotic foods or not they're slop ass food i love them you love them we all love french fries but they are very easy to make and they are very very cheap um this is the reason why they are able to push the cost up on them though people seem to be able to get one I went for the Smash Deluxe Burger. Who starts off though, man? Starting off eating basically a dessert, eating a cheese donut at the very beginning is diabolical, Becky. You could have waited a little bit, Becky. You could have just waited like a good, after you were done eating your burger. That's all I would have said. 
after you don't need your burger, you didn't even have to necessarily eat the fries. You could have just ate the burger. You could have had the you could have had the cheese donuts after that. But you gotta start off eating the cheese donuts. God damn, Becky. Huh? And Corey got these lovely cheese donuts. Damn, which were quite killing sweet, that actually. shit. Actually, very tasty. We had mac and cheese as well, Why? and it was so delicious. <laughs> okay, Becky. There needs to be an intervention. There needs to be a wake-up call here, bro. You did not. I'm going to keep it about. You did not start off your day at TGI Fridays and then go next right after that. Get the Domino's cookies. Get the Domino's cheese, mozzarella cheese pizza, and whatever the hell this is right here. What is this dunkingly good dip? What kind of dip comes in a box? That's weird, first and foremost. Also, why do you have a vase that comes out like this at a triangle? That's weird as well. And that, that pisses me off. That really does piss me the fuck off because now the flowers need to go down both sides instead of just coming down equally. I feel bad for the flowers inside, but I'm, I'm interested in seeing whatever slop is inside this, so. Then for tea, I ordered a Domino's. I God, meat lover's pizza. They never do these things justice as well. This, this is like the most slop. I understand that people like meat. I like meat too. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up now. Not like that. I don't like man meat. I like animal meat. Hold up. Hold up now. Hold up processed animal meat okay hold up now and we all love pepperoni we all love ham we all love all this us unless you're like jewish um in that case r.i.p to the foreskin and also i don't have foreskin either okay look i didn't have a choice in the matter if i had the choice now to have my foreskin removed or not removed i would probably still have it removed because all the women that i've ever talked to have told me that non-foreskin is the most delectable version of a penis but it's always kind of weird when you talk to these women about that because i remember one time this girl was telling me she was like well mm, when we have a kid mm, you best believe it is but we removing his foreskin and i was like oh why um, because, uh, foreskin penises are gross. Ew, that's nasty. I don't like that. And I was like, wait, hold up. Why are you thinking about your future son's penis in that particular way? That's kind of, uh, not good. But I understood the point. I, I did understand the point. But the Domino's Meat Lover's Pizza is so incredibly sloppy. It looks like they just literally, this, this part right here doesn't even look like meat. It's so incredibly burnt. It's so incredibly crispy in comparison to everything else that's wet around it. I don't like it. I don't like it personally. I think that this is a very slop version of pizza. Just get a pepperoni. Just get a regular cheese pepperoni on it. That's that. GG on that. Nobody ever complains about that unless you get a Muslim or a Jewish guy. But we're not friends with those people, right? No, let me stop, dude. We are friends with Muslim guys. But I don't think that this pizza is worth eating, to be honest. I got the barbecue ranch pizza because barbecue base is the And a whole thing of french fries. Best. Always french fries, man. Got oh! Ah, oh, french fries and cookies, Becky. Ah, oh, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, Becky. We got to calm down a little bit. It's too much. Wedges and cookies as well. Wedges and cookies. Okay. You're not doing that, bro. Never, 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 never. Hold up. Can I see that real quick? Best. So you're telling me meat lovers pizza for yourself, for your mouth, just for your mouth. You're eating an entire pizza for your mouth. Crazy as fuck. Most people, if it were me, an entire large pizza, I could probably body slam. Let me think about that. Probably four slices. I could probably do. I could probably swallow down four slices. Not easily. I would struggle. I would not feel good doing it as well. But I could swallow down four slices. Becky confidently being able to swallow down the entire box, the entire pie is kind of crazy. Also, four cookies. Four cookies. Four, Becky. Four. God damn. You know what I One big. Two. <gasps> Three, oh my god, four, diabetic, you're death. It's, it's literally death. French fries. And to top it off, you have a full fat Coke. I got wedges and, and cookies as well. You're watching the Green Lantern. The Green Lantern, huh? With Ryan Reynolds from 2011. The movie that is universally panned as one of the worst comic book, if not one of the worst movies ever created. What a beautiful person, Becky. You just, you know what, man? I gotta give you that. I gotta give you that, bro. You know what? You really did that. You really did that, Becky. I can't believe you fucked up as much as you did and then continue, and then continue to fuck up as much as you did. There are many other movies you could watch. I'm, I'm a big fan of Ryan Reynolds. I think he's a great. I, I love his acting. But, uh, and this movie kind of, uh, I watched it when it came out. Um, not my fault. I was a children. Uh, I didn't like it at the time. It was busky water. Even, even when in my child, infinite, my child, child brain even knew that this movie was garbage. Oh, 
I do like the bacon bits a little bit more done on this pizza, but it still hit. The what do you mean it's still hit? It's not supposed to. It, what, the, what all this is is just quantity over quality. You're ordering literal fast food pizza. You're ordering cookies that are from a fast food place. No heart and soul into these things. You didn't even get them from a grandmother that put them together like SpongeBob's grandmother. And you're eating potato wedges, which is, again, like not put any thought into it. And then also you're drinking full fat Coke. So what are you talking about? <laughs> this has nothing to do with like if it hits or doesn't hit. It's just quantity. You're just eating it to fill a hole. Garlic and herb sauce as well. You cannot beat. And the Domino's cookies. What a treat. Man, what do you... Listen, a treat would be one. Four is a goddamn buffet. You're literally outdoing yourself crazy. You already went out to eat today, Becky. Why you need to go out to eat again, man? It's, it's unstoppable behavior from this woman. Just the original of these are amazing. What do you mean just the original? You got four of them. Crazy as fuck. Why are your hands still so dark? Do not ever change the recipe, please, Domino's. Yo, come on, Becky. No, 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 no. We're, 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 we're fucking with me right now. We're fucking with me right now, dude. You're not doing this shit. You didn't just eat an entire box of pizza, four cookies, and you had the, the wedges. And now you're about to eat some M&Ms as well? Was that not sufficient? Was that not fucking good enough for you? How much more do we need to satiate you, Becky? You're literally out here body slamming boxes of pizza, and you still need more? How much more? It's, it's unstoppable at this point. There's so much food, Becky. God damn, you gotta get a candy with it too? And I was still watching the film after pausing it multiple times. I Whoa, Becky. Okay, listen, bro. We need to put on a shirt. I don't know what this shot is right now. That filter working a little bit too good right now. Your whole face doesn't even look like a normal face anymore. Why are you not wearing a shirt? What are you trying to do to me right now, huh, Becky? What you trying to do to me, man? I'm kind of feeling a little bit different right now. I'm feeling a little bit... Hot and bothered, hubba hubba, Becky Jones? Man, dude, she I might be on the go, hold up. I had some mini M&Ms. Your hand don't look real. Why is it, why does your hand look so vivid in comparison to the rest of your body? The rest of your body looks like it's not real, it looks like it was pre-rendered, and then they just put a random hand in there. You know what I'm talking about? Like if you took, if you like cropped out a hand somewhere, and then you just kind of put a hand over an image, and then that was the hand they put here. It doesn't look like a real hand. I was definitely more in the mood for chocolate today. What? As opposed to what? Not being in the mood for chocolate like yesterday or the day before that? Didn't you just eat chocolate chip cookies? How? Okay, whatever, dude. You, you, you couldn't even wait for the Halloween. You couldn't even wait for that shit. It's only a couple weeks away. I believe it is takeaway night. <laughs> Every night is takeaway night, Becky. Every single night. You tuck in without failure. On takeaway. It's actually unfathomable the amount of takeaway that you eat. You can't sit here and say it's takeaway night. It's takeaway week. It's takeaway month. It's takeaway every day. Don't sit here and try to act like this is a abnormal thing for you. You body slam this shit day in, day out. So I am just tucking in in my room. In the full fat coke. Room. It's been a manic week. <laughs> and weekend. So I will show you what pizza I went for. Disgusting! Looks like a yeast infection. Of course, the barbecue ranch. Then, of course, I went for wedges. I wonder if you just like, if they don't give you napkins, do you wipe your mouth with the wedges? For dessert, I went for some Domino's cookies. You, you didn't need dessert, though. I just saw you eat the M&Ms. I thought that was the dessert. I guess the cookies are... Man, this woman don't care about herself at all, bro. This is actually kind of crazy, dude. This is this is a cry for help right here. Literally an entire box, four cookies and wedges, man. And a ranch sauce on the side as well. And the M&Ms and the Coca-Cola, which alone is probably like 200, 300 calories, man. This entire, this entire, what you're seeing right now, probably if a large pizza is like what? It's, it's about five, I don't know, man. Let me think about this, dude. This this probably around like two thousand calories, maybe even more. I don't know how many how much the cookie is. It might be three thousand calories for all this. And just to let everybody know, regular women are only supposed to eat around two thousand. And some women, depending on how tall you are, don't even need to eat that. They might need to eat way less than that. And Becky's just literally double tripling it, no problem, like daily. Um, and she has the audacity to sit here and say takeaway night every night. Every night, takeaway night. Don't sit there and try to be like takeaway night tonight. Please. And I've just put Green Lantern on. Disgusting. Time That's watch. the most disgusting part of this whole thing, man. And you're doing this shit with a picture of your doge here too, bro. <sighs> Disrespect. Disrespect. So let's tuck in. And I am in my UD. As always, I'm probably not going to eat all this. 
but it is still there if I want it either later or tomorrow for my dinner. What about your family though? Like, do they not have any of it? Like, you just order food for yourself and they just see you shuffling the Uber Eats consistently and they just like don't even bother looking at you? Damn, that filter working OD, man. I'm literally seeing the smoothness around the eyebrows and around the eyes and the whatever, bro. No, no talking. double chin. Well, actually, I am cooking a lot this week because, yeah. <laughs> How you gonna tell me you cooking a lot this week when I literally see you body slamming a box of pizza by yourself on some big back shit? That is some straight big back personification right there. The pizza doesn't even want to be eaten. Mm -hmm. oh. Also, I couldn't find the big um, garlic and herb dip on the website. I think they've took it away, haven't they? I Thank got... God. That shit was 700 calories in and of itself. Oh, the little one. It, are you disappointed by that? Or, like It was 700 calories, Becky. Did you not know that? The garlic... Becky, the dips are doing you dirty. The dips are watering your throat right now with copious amounts of calories. You're drinking that shit as if it's like a, 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 a an actual sip of water. It's not supposed to be consumed to the degree that you are. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just starting the film now. I hope I like it. Um, but I hope Nobody likes it. But you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if Becky loved it. I wouldn't be surprised. That's just the way she is. She just loves everything. You're all okay. I'm going to have one of my cookies I love as well it. in a minute. Damn, why you eat like that? It's so good. The movie? Now just having one of my cookies. How many is one? Damn. Mm. Come on. I dude. managed two slices of pizza and about three, four wedges. Um, and now I'm just going to have two of these cookies. Don't lie to us. Don't lie to us, Becky. I see what you do out in public. I saw you when, when you was on the cruise. You was body slamming. You was drinking. You was eating tons and tons of food. Don't sit there and try to act like, oh, no, I can only eat two slices. Two slices, by the way, is a lot for you. And the rest is just that. Why but are you out of breath? <laughs> can you imagine eating so much food that you start to get out of breath from eating it? Just like taking bites. Just. Uh, 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 <clears throat> Uh, oh my god, that shit too good in my mouth. Oh my god. But this film is really good, so. Yeah, I knew it, bro. I mean, it, well, it, if you like Ryan Reynolds, I guess he plays the same character in every single movie. I wouldn't be surprised. It, it's whatever, man. If you like the movie, you like the movie. But the movie is, by all metrics, not a very good movie. But go ahead. I'm going to carry on watching this, but love you the all. The CGI for 2011, too. I did, Like, you would have thought by 2010 that the CGI would have been pretty good at that point, right? There were some pretty good movies coming around at that time that a lot of people thought were really, really good, right? And this was big. This was big budget movie right here. Um, CGI was looking better in the early, uh, in the late 90s, man. But that, that one movie just didn't do it right. Uh, I don't know why they would CGI the Green Lantern suit on Ryan Reynolds. Why couldn't they just practically put the suit on him, bro? I get it. You want to save a little bit of money, but god damn, that shit look fucking terrible. And I hope you had a great Sunday. Thank you. Why do you have to make that face when you eat that? Like, why? is it? It's not that hard. It's, it's, it's a cookie. Okay, so the last week I have really ate out. Yeah, no fucking shit, dude. Not even in the good way either, right? Not even in that good way. But basically, this was like a little holiday. And I can't take... Dude, you just went on a holiday then, if that's the case. Didn't you just go on a cruise for like literally four days? How do you go on a holiday to go on a holiday? My air fryer and everything else to cook with in a hotel room. So eating out... You brought an air fryer? Okay. It's allowed. Let me be. Anyway, today we went to TGI Fridays. It was our last meal together until we meet again. Everyone's looked really good. We got some sides as well. These cheese donuts that Corey got were absolutely amazing. Absolutely they were gorgeous. Sweet as well. I got the cake. They're donuts, Becky. I would expect them to be sweet. Asian spiced mac and cheese, which to be fair, it wasn't amazing, but it was really tasty. I think there needed to be more variations of cheese in it. You don't like cheese though, right? You don't like, what are you talking about? You need more cheese. You literally told us you don't like cheese. What are you talking about? Just tasted very mild, if that makes sense. But the smash burger that I got was so, so juicy. Corey let me have one of his sesame chicken strips as well. Damn, and Becky, you should not. Come on, Becky, you didn't need that shit. And these are always a winner. In the Jack Daniels barbecue sauce, very tasty. Then we celebrated Charlie again. And here's the little cake. Did you get one too? Cake she got from TGI Fridays. It's not her birthday, but 
It's like a little tradition now. <laughs> it was amazing. How Hi. many times do we celebrate that shit? Hey everyone, and welcome to my What Are You In A Day in Manchester. So me and Leah went to... Why did it crop like that? Everyone, so weird. Welcome to my What Are You In A Day in Manchester. I think the, the phone is like trying to register a face, but then when it realizes there's no face, it tries to like unregister it. Like look at this crop right here. So me and Leah... You see what I'm saying? It like, it made it wide and then it put it back. Went to Waku Waku, so weird. this Japanese restaurant. And oh my gosh, the food was insane. Never been... I like I like novelty restaurants too. I mean, at least she's doing something different instead of getting like the jelly bean sweets, which is like going to Taiwan and then getting literally the same shit you would eat in America, but doing it way more. To use chopsticks, but I want to give it a good gum. Anyway, the chicken was so tender. But I've got to say my favorite was this cloud drink. It had candy floss on it. I have done a full review video. Then everybody looks so much younger in Becky's filter. It's actually crazy. We went to Pizza Express for everybody else to get food. So I went for an ice cream and I got- Listen, I understand that you went to Pizza Express to get everybody else food because you just ate and you didn't want to eat. But then you get an ice cream, which is probably more calories than the food that you would have eaten. I just want to know why you set yourself up for failure like that. You do realize that ice cream has a lot of calories in it, right? It's literally ice cream. Everybody knows what ice cream does to you. The Biscoff Millionaire Sunday. And you drink in a full fat Coke. I asked for extra. <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised if this shit alone was like five, 600 calories. Not even joking either. That's just a big ass. That's big as fuck. God, you should have just got food then if that's the case. At least that would have held you over for a little bit longer. Ice cream is like bottomless. You can eat whatever on, on ice cream. Trabiscoff sauce after I'd ate half of it because it was so addictive. It had whipped cream on it, the crumbled Biscoff biscuits. And I honestly loved it. I woofed it down. Damn. Then for tea, we went for an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> okay. Okay, Becky. An all-you-can-eat buffet, huh? Um, Wow. All you can eat. Why? Becky, why? You know you can eat a damn lot. That's just going to be not so much but endless, huh? To be fair, I only really ate the Indian food. I did get a plate of Chinese. What do you mean to be fair? Like, what do you, what does that even mean? Like, as opposed to what? Like, eating everything else? Like, I'm happy that you only chose to eat one demographic of food, one cultural identification of food. That's awesome. But does it matter? No. No, it does not matter, Becky. Nobody gives a fuck. The food that you eat on a daily basis. Dude, you literally eat Indians all the time, by the way. Can you, like, I just, I just don't understand how these people, I get it. You have your preferred foods and stuff like that. When I go out to restaurants, you know what I'm doing? I'm buying the burger and fry, no matter where it is, right? But you would think Becky being on vacation, she just came back from vacation. She was just on a cruise literally a week ago and she was sitting there. She was eating the same shit day in, day out without failure as well. Pizza, tacos, hot dogs, burgers ice cream every day every day it was the same shit Macais, literally every single day i saw this woman eating the same shit and then she goes over to manchester or wherever that is and with with her boys with the girlies and stuff like that which is amazing but you eat the same shit again why do we not try different stuff becky why do we not try different stuff Domino's, literally every single day burger and fries i guess you did have a little bit of that korean stuff or whatever that was that japanese food but it's it's not it's not it's not sustainable becky if you're gonna overindulge can we at least have some variety i'm sick of eating you i'm hold up i'm sick of seeing you eat the same indian shit every day his food but the little balls were very spicy <laughs> You didn't tell me there was, you didn't tell me there was an Hispanic man there. I did try a few, but then somebody else had the rest because I couldn't eat them. We got dessert. Why'd you get dessert, Becky? Why, why would you get dessert? How many plates did you eat? Uh, these little mini eclairs had custard in. I was obsessed. And we got some snacks. <sighs> why would you need to get snacks after a buffet? Isn't the entire point of a buffet to fill you up for the rest of the day? You spend $80 to get in, you eat as much as you possibly can, and then you're good for the rest of the day. Most people are good. Most, that's intermittent fasting for most people. You eat literally 20,000 calories at the buffet, you go home, you're good for like three days, right? No, but I guess you just eat more candy. Some mini M&Ms, Pepsi Max, some water. Oh my God, I, what the fuck is that right there, dude? Is that a, is, is that a, a, a Rice crispy? Is that a, is that a chocolate Rice crispy bar? And of course, a square. I didn't even know they made chocolate Rice Krispie bars. Let me know if they're good down below. I like regular Rice Krispie bars. They're really bad for your teeth, though. 
um, and they're really high in calorie, but they do taste really, really good. As bar, rate my snacks out of 10 guys. Zero. Guys. <laughs> So we decided to stay an extra night tonight in Manchester and I couldn't think of anything better than going for an all-you-can-eat buffet. Oh, no. Out of everything you could have done, you chose to go to an all-you-can-eat buffet. There's nothing we could do to help you at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. I was absolutely... It kind of looks a little watery, am I wrong? Just vats of food that they have thrown out all day. Like, this shit's probably been there for like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hours all day. You do know that the dudes behind the counter are just cooking this shit in a big vat, right? Like, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's probably just like all the most disgusting, low down food you could. There's no care. There's no love. There's no affection. There's no somebody's grandma back there talking to the food, you know? herbifying it talking to it oh this food is going to be so good because i put my heart and soul i've been cooking for 48 years to make this food as good as it is to everyone to eat and enjoy nope there was none of that there was probably a whole bunch of indonesian dudes back there throwing food into a pot and you're eating that that's what you're doing Buzz in to meet yayan and kane Honestly, I was so starstruck. Love that. Got some fried chicken. No, that's not too bad. I like fried chicken. Um, anyway, we had like lots of selections. What is this like random white shit right here? I know that they're crackers, but I've never seen like white crackers like this. <laughs> With an Indian first. Chicken tea first is crazy. The masala and the sauce was absolutely banging. Absolutely gorgeous. Corey got a roast dinner and a Chinese on one plate. What do we think about that? <laughs> I Why actually your teeth so white and yet not white. I prawn crackers with my um, Indian food. I think Charlie got a mixture of Chinese and Indian Damn. food. And Leah's looked absolutely beautiful. It's, I... it's a plate of food, bro. Calm the fuck down. It, you know, I thought you were going to say she looked beautiful. The food looking beautiful. Crazy as hell. I've honestly had the best week. And these, like, salt and pepper chicken balls were so spicy. Damn. I couldn't eat them. But somebody else did. Honestly, they were really <laughs> spicy. Then it was time to go and have a look at the desserts. So I went with one marshmallow on the chocolate fountain. I saw Corey do this too. I knew about this chocolate fountain. Um, it doesn't really even look good. It looks like somebody's trying to fight with it. It looks like somebody was throwing hands with this shit. What the fuck happened to it? Why does it look like somebody was trying to box that shit? What the hell happened? Anyway, whatever. Yeah, chocolate fountain. And uh, you know what, dude? Fuck it. Fuck it, dude. Your day's already ruined. You might as well. It looks like it's tilted almost. Uh, am I wrong? Why does it look like that? What happened to it? If your day, if you're already body slamming like 8,000 calories today, fuck it, dude. You might as well go for the chocolate fountain. Two little chocolate eclairs, a swish roll. Don't say little. Don't, don't, don't do that. We all know what you're doing, okay? Don't sit there and try to be like too little. Come on. We all know the truth. We saw, we see what you'd be doing. And a blueberry and I think that was straw bubblegum and strawberry ice cream. I was so confused when I was eating this chocolate eclair because they usually have cream in the middle. This one had custard in the middle. It was very yummy though. Corey's chocolate yeah, fountain. Corey, Corey went all out and down the shit, bro. He literally dunked his whole plate into the fucking fountain. Absolutely big back shit. Massive. Oh my god, guys. I've done it again. I've dunked my plate in the chocolate dip. I was so hungry. I just couldn't believe it. I was too hungover and I needed a burger. Fountain chocolate sauce went everywhere. But the chocolate on that fountain was amazing. It's just, it's just deep. Man, dude. We gotta calm down, bro. Charlie Ann has literally celebrated this fucking pink tan shit for years at this point, dude. Why are we still celebrating this shit? You got the, you got the Indonesian people behind the counter thinking it's her birthday, bro? Man, dude. How many birthday celebrations you gonna have? Every day is gonna be your birthday. Why your hands? Why your hands so melanated, huh? Can you say the end? Can you can you sign language out the N word with these hands right here compared to your face? Why your face so white? Dude, why is she even acting like this? As if she didn't just celebrate her birthday the day before again. It's not even her birthday, bro. This takes man, whatever, bro. Go ahead, celebrate your fucking pink launch or whatever. Happy birthday. Sad as fuck. Fiona is crazy as fuck. If you guys don't know, Sherry Ann has a love and affection for Shrek. So I guess that's like, I don't know if it's going to die out anytime soon, dude. Whatever, man. I'm happy for her, dude. She launched her new fake, her fake pink tan, which you might be thinking, what is fake pink tan, David? Does it make you pink? No, no. It just applies on pink. So you like, 
you get your oven mitt, you you put it on, and it looks pink. But the next day, when it eventually activates, it turns brown. So I don't even understand the point of having. Why the fuck? If I'm applying, t if I'm applying tans, right? I want the tan to apply immediately. I get that it's gonna be better in the next day, but if I'm applying it, I want it to look like the color at least that I'm gonna be the next day, right? So if I'm putting on this shit and then I, I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, I look like a Korean guy. Why do I look so goddamn bright? But then I wake up the next day and I'm looking like Enrique Iglesias, bro. What the hell? What are you doing, bro? No, it's not cool, okay? I wake up one day and I'm looking like Fu Young, but then the next day after that, I'm looking like Valise Navidad. It's not cool, bro. So I don't know what the fuck is up with the fake, the fake pink tan. In my opinion, it should have just been regular. I guess that's the gimmick of it is just pink. So I hope she gets a lot of sales. I hope a lot of people love that pink fake. That's what it's literally called. Pink fake tan. So good shit on that, Sherry. Um, celebrating your birthday every single day is kind of crazy. But I mean, sheesh, bro. I guess if you can, you can do it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I'd appreciate if everybody can like the video subscribe, share the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in balloon because balloons are beautiful. They are really cool. Uh, sometimes I blow up balloons by myself and I just have them floating around my house. Um, I mean, like I go to the store and I'll just buy a balloon because I like the way they used to hang up. I used to love doing that when I used to have a cat because I used to, you know, fuck with him with the string or whatever and it would fly and my cat would love to play with the balloon and stuff like that. But gg on my cat a lot of people will ask me hey david where's your cat you know all this other stuff my cat died i think like three years ago gg sad face really really sad um beautiful boy i was a girl beautiful girl smelled the best one of my favorite people in the entire world i love cats they're beautiful they're amazing but not as much as i love you how much i love and care for you and how much you're such an amazing person and all the stuff that you're doing for yourself on a daily basis to ensure that you're well taken care of you're taking care of everybody else around you you're doing that cardio session today i love that you were eating properly today too as well i love i love that about you it's okay every once in a while to fuck up and eat terrible really really bad food but the great thing about you is that that's not consistent enough to really really cause a lot of damage and that's really amazing that's actually spectacular i love that for you so thank you so much for being consistent. Thank you so much for being lubricated. Thank you so much for practicing good skincare. Thank you so much for brushing your teeth. All that stuff is really, really good. And I want to give you a round of applause because you're so amazing. And maybe later tonight, I might do a round of applause with something else besides my hands. Who knows? <laughs> maybe we got to celebrate in other ways. But anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, they'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.